Hello and welcome back everyone to 2KCW. This is the final show before 2KCW a thon. We will crown new champions for the heavyweight championship as well as the tag team championships. And a final showcase match for the women of 2KCW. We got Charlie Evans coming out first. We first saw Charlie Evans teaming up with Jenna Jordan in a losing effort against the Suicide Blondes on our very first episode. Well, Charlie's got to face off against Miss Maria. Miss Maria is a backwoods country girl. All about fishing and hunting and everything that comes with it. Transition to the world of professional wrestling only a few years ago. Looking to continue to make her mark in the business. So here we go, Charlie Evans and Miss Maria. Kicking off the show this week and we also have a huge six man tag again with 2KCW Thon implications. Whoa, Charlie Evans with a quick sucker punch to Miss Maria. Different side of Charlie. Again, another collar and elbow tie up. Let's see if we'll get a clean break here from Charlie to Maria. And we do this time. And Maria slamming Charlie's head into the canvas. We, again, we have a colossal six man tag with. 2KCW with on implications as the winners of the Battle Royals, Leroy Punch Beef and Eric Anderson will be teaming up against the opponents for the tag team titles. Smooth as Silk and Awakening. Snap Suplex from Miss Maria. A modified bow and arrow here from Miss Maria. And Charlie able to get a back elbow in there. A series of strikes from Charlie Evans. Both these women are very young in their careers so far. Charlie Moore. And experience is a low drop kick from Miss Maria. And up and over with the clothesline dumping Charlie to the outside. Our ring crew on the floor can get you different angles of the action here, folks. It's Maria going back insane. Inside, so is Charlie. Off the ropes. This, I would say a modified Spanish fly, but not quite. There's an elevated arm drag. A variation on the arm drag. Charlie Evans goading Maria in with a kick. Out of the corner. The chop and a spinning back fist coming up empty for Charlie Evans. And Miss Maria looking for a running Meteora and a running drop kick from Charlie. Charlie looking to avenge the loss that she suffered again in the first episode in a tag team effort. And Charlie with an uppercut to Maria. And a spine buster. It's a much bigger opponent, my goodness. Charlie looking to line up Miss Maria. The super duper kick. Into the cover. On Miss Maria. Two in the kick out at two. I'm not sure what added punch that the, the duper does for... Charlie with it being a super duper kick, but he's got to play a role in it some, nonetheless. Maria looking for a slam there to Charlie. And Charlie going up to the top rope. 
What can we see here? Charlie, they're going for a splash, but we're going to get the knees up. An inside kick from Maria. A running drop kick to the back of Charlie. And a boss man slam. From Maria. Rolling neck snap from Miss Maria. And she's looking to put this match away potentially. For a pump handle slam, she calls catch and release. Can this be enough to put away? Charlie Evans here, one, two, and Charlie with a kick out. The uppercut from Charlie, there's no doubt that we will have a women's match at 2KCW-thon, but to what capacity is still to be determined. And now Charlie, not in a comeback here against Miss Maria off the ropes and a drop kick. Beautifully done. And Charlie, the modified spine buster there. All of Carl Anderson, that's going to get the job done for Charlie Evans. Let's take a look at the replays here. There's the first spine buster. I did not expect Charlie to put that off. Pull that off against Miss Maria, and there's the super duper kick. A great effort from Miss Maria, but unfortunately the, the speed advantage goes to Charlie for being a smaller opponent. There's the catch and release suplex from Miss Maria. And Maria thought she had it done there, but no. Charlie kicked out. And hit that final spine buster. Charlie Evans picks up a win here on our final show before 2 kcw thon Can she possibly get herself on the card? We'll have to wait and find out. In the meantime, coming up next is a six-man tag. Don't go anywhere. And teaming with Smooth as Silk tonight is Leroy Punch Beef. He won the first Andre, excuse me, not on <laughs> Brody Lee Battle Royal in our first episode. And a surprise win for Leroy Punch Beef. A very unorthodox competitor in Leroy Punch Beef. And I didn't get a chance to mention this before, but he attempted to set a record in cow tipping. He told me to say that. He's got some kind of vendetta against cows. I, I don't know. I can't explain it. Ask him. But maybe you don't want to ask him. Maybe that's something that he might want to just keep to himself. I really don't know. But his partners, Smooth as Silk, who defeated the Elements last week, earned the right to challenge for the 2KCW Tag Team Championships at 2KCW with Don. Isaac York on your left, Dynamite Curtis on your right. And then the opponent, you got Eric 
Anderson. The powerhouse with a Norse mythology degree. So maybe the Norse horse of 2KCW. He's going to be teaming up with the other team that won last week. That being Awakening. Who we will see momentarily. Eric Anderson put on a hell of a performance in his Battle Royal in the main event of the first ever episode. With a surprise return from Tonga, who we saw in the GAW Academy. Did not expect him in the slightest to appear here in 2KCW, but take what you can get, I suppose. And here comes Awakening. The stable has been inspired by the Power Rangers. Our stable mate Akira Yamashita lost her match last week against Dizzy Jet. But we could be looking at our next tag team champions. And Akira. Matsumata in green in the green and Jushin Sakamoto in the white and here we go colossal six man tag and again Leroy electing to not take off the jacket because he's a strange man uh, I'll just leave it at that Eric Anderson in the corner the referee knocked down early on chaos can break down with a short clothesline to Anderson. Leroy making the tag to Isaac York of Smooth as Silk. Believe it or not, Isaac is just a little bit older than Dynamite Curtis, so he's got the veteran experience while Dynamite has the young, the youth advantage of smooth as silk going corner to corner to disorientate Anderson off the tag comes dynamite off the robes a double hip toss to Eric Anderson and Eric was looking to make the tag so possibly to Akira Matsumoto and off the ropes dynamite Curtis again the younger half of smooth as silk but my goodness, the power on display from between both these men. Looked like Dynamite was going for a guillotine choke, but Eric countered it beautifully. Off the tag is Akira Matsumoto of Awakening, the Green Ranger. And off the slam, a variation on the power slam from Dynamite Curtis. Tag made, and here comes Isaac York again. And there's always great strategy in tag team matches to make frequent tags in and out. Off the hip toss, Isaac York. Swinging neck breaker to Matsumoto. Uppercut from a gear and a running drop kick. Almost a single leg drop kick, it looked like. land right on target into the corner wrong place for Isaac York and there's the running a big boot to Isaac and Isaac with a suplex cutting off any momentum and pass dropkick counter to a splash from Matsumoto And Akira, always looking. Oh, I thought he was looking for the dragon's breath right there, but not quite. That's got to be more in a pile driver position. And another running big boot from Matsumoto. And Isaac York is in the wrong part of town right now. 
Kozlik needs to make a tag. Soon Rara in the lane, continuous face washes from Matsumoto. Now Isaac. A little hold, wrenching the neck of Akira Matsumoto. And there's a standing drop kick from Isaac. Back into the corner. Whoa! The agility from Akira on display to be able to slip right between the corner post and Dynamite Curtis to avoid the attack. And now Akira with the Dragon's Breath. Cover here. And Isaac getting the kick out. Akira, tag made to Eric Anderson. Jushin has not made an appearance in this match yet. He's the freshest man. Same with Leroy Punch B for the other side. They're running uppercut from Eric Anderson. Isaac's got Anderson up into the backbreaker. Isaac, sending Eric into the corner, back elbow counter. Whoa, into a slam from Eric Anderson. And now Anderson, another uppercut there to Isaac York. Anderson, whoa, getting countered into a single-handed spine buster from Isaac. The timing on that perfectly executed for that counter. As Isaac's looking to, as you saw it, trying to shake off any kind of damage or something going on with his right shoulder. Hopefully not going to result in any kind of injury leading into 2KCW-thon. Again, as Eric is working on the left arm. From Isaac York. And gut wrench. Slam from Eric Anderson. Also known as the Iceman, but I like to just refer to him as the Norse Horse. And now Anderson up top rope. We don't see him go to the top very often. This will be why Valkyrie strike. A clothesline from the top rope. He calls it the Valkyrie strike and Leroy right there to break it up. And Jushin putting a stop to punch beef. And now it seems like this whole match is breaking down. It's Isaac got a quick punch in on Anderson. Or excuse me, Dynamite. Another dragon sleeper into a slam from Eric Anderson. And Isaac still staying alive. Isaac needs to make a tag soon. Otherwise, this will not go well. And now Eric going to the top rope again. He's looking for another Valkyrie strike. Countered to a power slam from Isaac York. Wow. What a counter off the Valkyrie strike. Now Isaac with an exclamation point, DDT, cover, referee. Being mixed up in the chaos that's breaking down here. And now Leroy making his way back into this match. Off the exclamation point, DDT. From Isaac York. And the referee, what is the referee doing? He's, he's dealing with Dynamite Curtis in the corner. Tag made. And in comes Dynamite. Dynamite taking advantage of the situation and striking the referee. My 
God, just throwing Anderson out of the corner. Eric looking for the tag and he makes it to Matsumoto. Running single leg drop kick from Matsumoto. Here again, sending Dynamite to his own corner. And a running bulldog from Dynamite Curtis. I believe Akira might have a broken nose off that bulldog. That's about with a shoulder tackle. Off the wrist lock, Fireman's Carry counter from Dynamite. And there's a swing neck breaker, the implosion from Dynamite Curtis. We're seeing all the greatest hits here tonight in the six-man tag. And Jushin breaking it up. Again, Jushin's not been in this match a single second. And that may come to play in next week at 2KCW Thon in Innovative submission here. Almost a a knee bar from Dynamite, another running drop kick. But it's a lot of pressure from Matsumoto if he's got to be the one that's going to be carrying the team here. Leading into 2KCW with Thon next week. Tornado DDT up and over the top rope. Matsumoto with a elbow drop springboard. Beautifully done. Now working the right arm of Dynamite. Collar and elbow tie up. Dynamite able to sh shake him off. Now Dynamite sent into his opponent's corner. Tag made. Here comes Anderson. Oh my god, what are they looking for here? A brain buster combination of a frog splash. From Eric Anderson. Leg drop there from Anderson. Anderson doesn't go up to the top rope often, but I guess when the moment calls for it, he will go up to the top rope. A low gut kick there from Dynamite. Straight jacket neck break from, from, from Anderson. And Anderson with a running shoulder tackle. This could be enough to put away Dynamite Curtis, and it is Eric Anderson in the Awakening. Getting an advantage heading into 2KCW a thon. As we take a look at the replays, there's the first Valkyrie strike that connects to Isaac York. There's the Dragon Sleeper slam. My God. At least the setup is a Dragon Sleeper. There's the second strike that was countered into a power slam. Beautifully done by Isaac. And there's the exclamation point DDT that followed. What a contest. Between all six competitors. As Anderson in the Awakening builds the two KCW Thon in their respected title matches. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be, up for, be it for us this week. We'd like to thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel and our Twitch. Have a good one.